Hello, everyone. Good morning. Today, I have prepared a lesson for you, which is about the topic, number one, place value. And number two, how to add with and without regrouping. So when we talk about place value, we are asking this question, what is the place value of this particular digit in a number? I'm going to read out to you. It is the value of each digit in a number when we talk about place value. The position of a digit in a number tells us its value. Let me give you an example. For example, the 5 in 350 means 5 tenths or 50. The 5 in 526 means 500 or 500. 500 or 500. So I'm going to illustrate to you visually by using the cube, the flats, the rods, and the units. So right now we're going to form this number we're interested in is 350. So let's look at the, the visuals here. We don't need a thousand cube. So I'm going to put this aside. And we also need we only need three flats. Why? Because one flat is 100. So it says here 350. So to illustrate, we count 100, 200, 300. And we can remove the rest. Okay. So then the next part is 50. So there are 10 tens here. So we only need five tens. So I'm going to remove five. So right now we have one, two, three, four, five. So that is 350. Do we need any ones? No. So we take this out. Therefore, the spot is empty. So well now we can write the number three, five, zero. All right. All right. The next one is 526. So how many hundreds do we need? We need to count, right? One, two, three, four, five. So we have all together five hundreds. Okay. Next part is 26. So we need two tenths, right? So two tenths. So let's remove the three. We have two tenths. And now we also we all we need six ones because it says 526, so we need six ones, All right? So I hope this is clear about place value. That means every digit has a certain value because of their position. So this five is 500, and it's different from this five, which is 50. And this two is 20. So we have 20 here. And then the six, we have six ones. Okay. All right, next, we're going to move on to our next card. I'm going to show you how 10 ones make one 10. So we have 10 ones here in this dish. And this 10 ones, if I say, well, there's no room to write 10 here in this ones column, I have to put the one here, right? One 10 which is the same as 10 ones. So 10 little cubes is converted, okay, into one rod, one 10. So you can move the dish of 10 ones away. Therefore it's one and then a zero, okay? There's nothing here, so there's a zero. And of course I don't, I don't need this, I'm sorry. I just have to move this one. So one, zero, okay, that's the answer. 10 ones is the same as one 10 to the zero, okay? Next one, we're gonna have 10 tens that make 100. So we're gonna put all the tens back. So we can count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So there are 10 tens, but we can't put 10 here in this column, all right? 
So we need to put the one here. So this 10 tenths becomes exactly 100. So we move it to this column and we can remove the 10 tenths away because it's already been converted to 100, all right? So visually, I hope you can understand. Now we can write a number as one, zero, zero. One, zero, zero, okay? Now the next part is 10, 100, make 1,000. So right now we have, I'm gonna show you that I have 10, 100, all right? 100, 200, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Oh, hang on. Am I missing one? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There should be one more. I think I must have placed it somewhere. Sorry. Let's pretend that this is also a flat. Oh, I should hide it so that you can see that. I'm now 10 one hundredths, okay? 10 one hundredths is the same as 1,000, which is a Q. Therefore, I can remove all this. And now my answer is one. Okay, that's one. But in the thousand place, and then zero, 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 nothing. One, zero, 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 okay? Okay, this is like a quick run of the meaning of all the place values. Next, I'm going to use my card right now to show you, to illustrate. Okay, so 350, I think I've done this just now, where I put three rods, I mean, three flats and five rods, and there's a zero here. And then 526, I have five flats, two rods and six units, okay? So what is the place value of the two? Well, can you tell me? So if five is in the hundred place, two will be in the tens place. That's right, tens, okay? Tens. And then the six is in the ones, okay? So five hundreds, two tens, six ones. That's how we read the number or the digits in the number place place by place, okay? It's like an address, where do you live, okay? So the place value is telling us where exactly it's located. Next one. Next one is 400 and this is a little exercise, okay? So you can match. 429, the two is in the, can you tell me which answer? Okay, two tenths. 618, the six is in the, is it six tenths or six hundredths? Yeah, six hundred. 345, the five is in the, five is in the ones place, five ones. And then 810, the eight is in the, 800, that's right. All right, so far so good? Okay, good. Now we are going to move on to the addition without regrouping. I think this is the fun part because it's easy. <laughs> Therefore, we can arrange on paper. We can add really easy. Start from the ones always because when you when there's more, you can add on to the next column and the next column, okay? You kind of jump from right to left. So four plus five is nine. Three plus one is four. Two plus four is six, okay? And then visually, you go like, well, how do I, how can I see it, okay? So you put two flats over here. That's 200. And then you have 30. And then you have four ones. Okay. 
And then the next row you have 400. And then you have 110. Better put it in such a way that you can see my question still. Uh, sorry. And then you have five words. Okay. So all together you add, right? So four, right? Plus five. So let's do the counting on strategy. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Okay, I'll do it again. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Therefore, my nine is in the is in the, is the answer for the ones. Okay. Now the tens, three tens. One, two, three, plus one, four. So answer is four tens. Can you see on the card? Okay. Four. It's this four, okay? The nine's here. And now two, two hundred is over here, four hundred is over here, all together, six, why? Two, right? And then three, four, five, six. Okay, I hope you can see it. All right, now, we are going to look at the next flashcard with regrouping. All right, now we're going to add with regrouping. So how do I do it on paper with regrouping? So first of all, I know that six plus nine is 15. Now I'm not going to write 15 here because it's, you know what I mean? If I put 15, it looks kind of funny if I want to read the answer. It'd be like 700, 12 tens, or 13 tens, and 15 ones. Nobody reads like that. So we have to carry this one ten over. So put the one here, cross out the one here. So it'll be five ones. So five plus eight is 13, plus one is uh, 14. So put four, carry your one ten. I mean, yeah. Carry your one here. In this case, it's not one ten, it's actually 10 tens, all right? Because it's in the hundreds right now. Therefore, you carry your one, your 10 10 over here. So you put one. So one, because it's 14, 14 10. So you carry one here. That's what I mean. One plus four is five. Five plus three is eight. Okay, so the answer is 845. Now, how would I? show you visually, let me do it real quick. So I have four, I have four pieces here, and then five, and then six, and then I have three here, and then I have eight, oops, sorry, I mean eight tens. I don't have eight tens. That's the thing. Uh, I just ran out of my rods. Um, let me see what I can do to improvise. Uh, I wasn't really prepared for this. Um, okay, let me use the sticks. <laughs> All right, so I got some sticks here. So I say five, six, seven, eight. All right. Don't look at the stars. I mean, each stick is a ten. Okay, just just imagine, pretend. Okay, so five, and then there's three, so, so there's eight, eight tens, and then we have nine ones, okay? I'm gonna put my dish here. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, exactly, we have nine, okay? So now we're gonna add mm, six, okay, over here, and I count on seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. That's exactly what I wrote, 15. But we can't put 15 there, so we cross out the one and put the one 10 over here. And now we have five plus eight. Okay, so five. Okay, then we count on six, 10, seven, 10, eight, 10, nine, 10, 10, 10, 13, 13, 10. 
But because we have converted the, what do you call, the 15 into 110, right? So let me see. So my answer is, let me just pull this up a bit. So the answer will be just five ones, okay? I hope you can see this picture. And all this 110 becomes a 10 here. Oops. Okay. So all this one ten ones become one ten over here. Let me arrange it so it looks very nice like a stick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then ten. All right. So now you have brought over a friend, one ten, to join the family of tens. Therefore, I have 14. 14 tens. So 14 tens, because I can't put one four, so the answer is four tens, okay? So let me use the sticks. Oh, let me use some ice cream sticks. Okay, so the answer is one, two, three, four. And I have converted my 10 tens to move over to the hundred place, okay? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten goes over to this this side, okay? To join the hundred. So now I have we have a new friend, right? A new flat of one hundred. So over here is one, two, three, four, four hundred plus. 500, so one more hundred is 500. Six, seven, eight. Therefore, my answer is 845. Just like what I wrote in my card, okay? 800 over here, 45. 45. This is my answer. We put them all together. Like a stack of sandwiches. Okay. All right. So 845 is my final answer. Okay. I hope I have demonstrated uh, enough, I mean, clearly, so that you can understand the concept of adding visually. And of course, you may have a scenario whereby the numbers are so big that uh, it carries over into the thousand place. So I'm not going to do it on, uh, I mean, on the mat visually, but I'm going to do it on paper. So eight plus nine is 17. So one plus two plus three is six. And then this is 12. And then because it's 12, I can't put here in the hundreds column, I move it over to the thousand place. All right. So the answer is 1,267. Okay. All right. So look at this card, pause the video and solve, and the answers will be given in the description. Okay. All right, I'm gonna move this card. And then now let's see, what do we have here? So I've done, so come back to the conclusion. I've done place value. And I've done addition with and without regrouping. And there's another thing I'd like you to solve, which is a fun brain puzzle. And I hope that you have fun solving this. It says here, based on the numbers in each row, what number should go in place of the question mark? That means what should this number be? I'm going to just let you read the question again. You can pause the video and I will provide the answer in the description. All right. Thank you so much for your time. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I will see you again next time. Take care.